Good to see you, Bryce. See you, man. How about this uh, young kid, this Noah Dunn? How about him? He's an incredible player. Uh, you know, there were times in the game where we got down a little bit, and when we, if we needed points, we could go to him. And he, he would finish the, he'd finish the layup, and, and if you foul him, he's gonna go to the free throw line, and knock down, knock down free throws. So, and he was a big key to our game. Because yeah, we got some shooters out on the perimeter, but if we if we needed those points down low, we could we know we could go to him. And he didn't act like a freshman. He didn't talk like Not, a freshman. He, yeah. he certainly didn't play like one. He played like a senior that knew he was doing out there. So we were proud of him and how far he came this season. So how about Cameron Austin? That's a dependable guy at the point guard yeah, spot. Yeah, I played with Cameron for a long time, and, and it, he's so it's it's fun to play with because he's fast, and I like to play fast. And he'll get you the ball if you need it. And uh, you need, if, he, if you need a three-pointer, he's knocked down all the time. So he's it's, a good player. It's good to have uh, some talented teammates, too, because it make you get better as a player. You work harder and play harder and get better. When your teammates are around you, are good players already. You're around some guys that aren't that good. Eventually, you're just not going to get any better because you're not being challenged. You want to yeah. challenge even among your own team. Yeah. Yeah, Cameron, Cameron certainly makes everybody better around him. And, and when we found out he was coming back this year, everybody was really excited that that uh, that we knew we could make a run late in the, late in the postseason because his game – demand so much attention from other teams so he uh he definitely he definitely required a lot of defense on him here you get a guy like jared talley he's been through so much yeah and then he's still as tough as he is right now what about Tim? i mean you got to have a guy like that out there that's the kind of guy you look to if we need somebody inside to get something done get a little a little hard work inside he'll yeah. help you out there he'll be there for you jared, jared was good for us this year uh he, he had an extra element to our game you know you have you have Noah who can finish down low and cameron who can shoot and then jared's a guy that you know he can pull up from the volleyball line and hit a floater. Mm. He can cross somebody up and leave him in the dust and just hit the flo hit the floater. So he's got some LeBron James uh, yeah. talent inside of him. Yeah, he's he's pretty good. I, I like how he plays and so and uh, he also required a lot of defense attention to him. And that was that was the craziest thing about our team is that you know we have four guys average double figures. And so if there was one night that that Cameron had a bad night, then you know I would I would try to step it up and Cameron or and, uh, Jared and Noah would pick it up. And so even if somebody had a bad night, somebody was there to pick them up. When the first of the season got going, you went out there. Were you expecting something like this to happen? No, nah, not really. Uh, there weren't really high expectations of this team because we lost so much. Like we lost, uh, we lost Ethan and Joseph and uh, TC. So, you know, there was there wasn't a lot of. Uh, expectations around us, at least high expectations. And so I was proud of how everybody on the team reacted to to how low they were and coming out and playing hard every game and competing with every team we played. What was it like when those guys came back and saw you guys play? I know they got to come back and watch you occasionally, mm -hmm. TC and Joseph and Ethan, those guys. When they would see you play, what was it like? What were they saying? Oh, they said they were proud of us and how we played. Uh, I mean, it definitely was a lot different from how last year's team played. Last year, you, know, you had you had Ethan and TC who scored a majority of the points, and so everybody was focused on those two. But this year's team was it was so balanced, and everybody everybody if you if you expected to, to shut down two guys, the other two were going to pick it up. And so they said they were proud of how we played as a team a lot more than the year before. This year's team, and we played we played as a team so well, and that's that was the key to us winning the championship. How were you able to come together? You, what you did last year as opposed to this year? How were you guys able to pull this off? I don't, I don't know what it was. I mean, coach. Coach always talked about playing for for the name on the front of your jersey instead of the back back and on the name on the back of the jersey. And I mean, we didn't have names on the back of the jersey really, but everybody knows what it means. Don't play for yourself. And so you know when you when you set aside, you're good for the common goal of everybody else. That's when you get things done, and that's how we got things done. This year. You made the right decision when you came to Vandia Christian School. You feel like? Yeah. Well, I guess my parents did. I didn't really have much to say. I've been there. Have a choice, huh? I've been there so long. I've been there since I was four. So four years old. Yeah, K four pre K. Oh, you remember so, who your K four teacher was? Going back uh, yeah, it was actually the cheerleading coach, um, Kim Hazelwood. Hazel, yeah. yeah, she was she was my K4 teacher. So it's I've been there for a while, but it, it was it's definitely fun staying there. It's a small school, so it has its benefits, but it also has its downsides. But it, you know, getting to, getting to play with these guys, I mean, I've known them for a lot of my life. So it kind of means a lot to get a title for you too, because you've been there the whole way. Yeah. I mean, sometimes a guy will come in, and I've been there. We've seen it ourselves, coaching and being around programs. I remember being a band day back when I was there many many years ago. We'd have a guy come in for maybe one year, team mm -hmm. gets the title. That one guy helped, but it still wasn't the same little kid who used to maybe live down the street, walk to school, and maybe yeah, yeah. there forever. And that guy gets the title. It's still yeah. Different. yeah, yeah. The, the coolest thing was, I mean, it wasn't my first. I won a baseball state championship my uh, my sophomore year, and I wasn't really a big part of that team. I was I was a pinch runner on the team, so I didn't play that much. But being such a, a big part of this team, and and uh, you know being a starter, that was very that was that was one of the coolest things. So I could say it was it was most mostly like our state championship, and I feel like I had a bigger part in this one than I did on that baseball team. We can't give you a trophy for winning the state title. We're going to hush puppy sometimes in the conversation. You can have one or afterwards take one with you. We got four guys here. We got Cameron Austin. We got Noah Dunn. We got Bryson Gordon. We got Jerry.
a tally. If we're gonna bring the fifth guy, who will we bring in tonight? Who are we leaving out of here? Uh, Matt Hobbs. Matt, Matt Hobbs. Hobbs. He was talk about Matt Hobbs. Uh, talk about everybody else. He was he was my other captain with me this year. He was he was very big. He was he wasn't really a, an offensive threat. He was a good rebounder, and he finishes good around the rim. He, he's small, but he plays big. He, he plays gets up around that rim. Yeah, he he plays he plays the Noah Dunn size a lot. He and he has a smaller body, but he's very key to this team. And he was he was also a great leader. He he encouraged everybody to, to stay up. Even sometimes I didn't want to get everybody to stay up. He he came behind my back and made sure everybody was staying up for me. You think about this team uh, again. You go back to your mom and dad. They made the decision to put you in Vandy Christian School back here, like in K four. Uh, you talk to them after the game. Some what they say about this whole deal. I know your dad's a huge sports guy. When I see your dad, I want to think about sports, seen him over at the uh, Right Touch Flooring. He used to be, I think, with the Grand Sporting Goods. And uh, some he, he does some stuff in some community sports, too, I think, around here. What is it like talking to your family, your parents? Because when you're around your teammates and friends, it's all a different thing. Yeah. What about you get along with your family you know, that, that night after the game or maybe the next day? Because you want to share some of that with them, too, because they've yeah. been there the whole way. And I guarantee you'll share a lot more with them, maybe 10, 15 years down the road, too. What was it like with the family, though? Uh, it, was, it was real cool uh, to see how my dad reacted. He was very proud of me. And uh, my mom told me the, the day after after the state tournament, she was like, she's like, man, I'm glad you won this. She's like, your dad was a, a nervous mess for you. She, she, he'll probably kill me if I tell y'all this, but she said he was crying the night. He was like, I want this so bad for Bryson, and I wanted it, I wanted it so bad, I wanted to win it, and so, uh, and and to come through and to see the, the joy on their face for, for for me and for the whole team, it was it was crazy. I was I was so happy. It's kind of crazy too, because I've seen your dad on a couple of occasions, always impressed with his sports knowledge, his sports background, his love of sports. You look a lot like your dad. Too. You <laughs> a lot of similarity in the the appearance. I hope I don't end up looking like him. I'm being a little bit of trouble. You're getting close. <laughs> <laughs> but you're doing okay with it. Yeah. I, he taught me everything I know about sports, and every, everything that's about sports I, I owe to him. He's, he's, he's You look crazy. back at it. You had to do it over again. Has it all been worth it? Yes. Every sprint, every suicide. We did push-ups, every push-up. Every hour, 30-minute practice, every two-hour practice, I wouldn't change a thing. We did this season. It was it was awesome. What was the toughest part of those practices every day? Uh, man, I hate I hate boxing out. Man, we had this, we had a box out drill. There were some times when we would do that. I just I wanted to strangle Coach Nelson. I I can't stand it. It was it was a daily thing. I mean, second it was almost the second thing we did every practice. I'm like, oh my soul. I mean, it was you it was coming. Hate that because you start to practice off with it. It comes so early in yeah. practice, right? And yeah. You go right with the thing you dislike the most. Yeah, and it's not really a hard drill. It's just it's. A, I mean, nobody really. I mean, teams like to box out now, but it's all about how high you jump and. It was, it was just a repetitive thing, and it was just kind of got How tiring. box out drill, maybe a one-on-one -on -one competition, and then you're doing some kind of work there against Noah Dunn. What's that like? Oh, I couldn't handle Noah Dunn, man. He's he's big, and he, he'll, probably, he'll probably put me in the basket a couple times. But Did you ever heard of DJ Reader? A guy I mentioned earlier, remember DJ over at Grimm's a years ago? I have Your not. dad may have heard of him anyway, man. That guy was like a bear, just like this uh, young Noah Dunn did, guys. What about against Jared Towney? Going box out against him. Uh, Jared's, Jared's a little weak. I think I can handle Jared. Uh, okay. I won't have many problems with him. <laughs> No, but he's real good. He's he's quick. That'll be the hardest thing about him is 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 uh is staying with him. He's real fast. So what about uh, we know about Noah Dunn? Who's the other young group of talent on this team that's going to carry this team down the road further? Oh, uh, you got Tyler Crook. He he's coming up. He's a junior. He was our sixth man toward the end of the year, and he br he brings a big piece of this game. He's an outside shooter, and he's uh, he's dead eye man. He's he's got a sniper shot all the time. He's I mean he's he probably shot. 40% from three, which is incredible. But I mean, knowing that, I, I mean, that's that's real good for a three-point shooter, especially a junior. And he's real good at that. And I'm proud of him because he's he's gained uh, a little bit of speed to his game to his game. And I hope he I hope he sticks with it because he's you a good pretty shooter. good fan support down at that state tournament. The Vandia Christian School yeah. student body and fan base over there for you. Yeah, a lot of people came out to the tournament for us. Uh, and, and and Thursday and Friday night too, a lot of students came down because we didn't have school Thursday. They ended up having school Friday. So some of them didn't come to Thursday night game, but a Friday night we had a good crowd and Saturday it was it was awesome. How, how so what do you do now out? for an encore? Now you've got this championship. What do you do the rest of you? I mean, you just take uh, take the books and put them in the locker and just uh, float right through class now. The last few weeks of school, what do you do now? I uh, can't I can't do that. I got baseball. You're going baseball. And yeah. So what position infield uh, somewhere. I play catcher. You're the catcher. Yeah. It's huh? it's, a, it's new to, it's new to me. You mentioned earlier. I think you're the catcher. It's, yeah. it's new to me, and wow. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting a little bit better you're at it. Receiver. You're gonna take all those pitches in. Yeah. 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 But uh, hopefully we can do the same thing in baseball. So I, I'd like to. It'd be my second one in baseball. So and we got we got a pretty good team. Where'd you play before you went behind the plate this year? Uh, I played second base. Yeah, that's why my first guess, second base was yeah. first time maybe. Yeah, I, I don't I don't have the greatest arms, but uh, 
so they stuck me a second. My coach always makes fun of my arm. Well, who's your top pitcher down there these days? Uh, Jordan Mitchell. He's, he's a good Jordan pitcher. Mitchell. Yeah, he's, he's he was our number one last year, his junior year. So we're really, really looking forward to what he has for us this year. I know that uh, Mr. Dunn said he was going to do golf, I think, this year. Yeah. You know, I just get him on the baseball team, maybe do a little DH. Yeah, course. yeah. He, Noah's a good golfer from what I've heard. I don't get to a lot of golf matches, but everybody says he's a real good golfer. I, I think he finished pretty high up in the state last year, so that's pretty good. 20 years down the road, where do you see yourself? Before we go 20 years, tell me first, where do you see yourself next year? Where are you going to college at? You're going to uh, go to college somewhere. I'm not sure where I want to go to college at, but I know what I want to go. I want to go into communications and journalism. You're a good talker. And yeah. uh, and go into sports and stuff, sports communications, stuff like that. That would be really fun. I think you'll do pretty well. And we have one of our guys helping us out on the website. So Michael Fields. You yeah, that's, Michael? that's one of my best friends yeah. uh, outside of Vandale. I, I'm, I'm good friends. You guys would be him. great. Get to Michael Fields and uh, uh, Bryce and Gordon together to talk sports. You guys probably keep it going all that long. Yeah, yeah. He, we like to talk about sports every time we hang out. We're always talking about sports. That's a good thing so. too. It's a safe thing. I mean, people talk about parents. Parents will be getting the kids in trouble. Let them get together and talk sports. Yeah. Them. Let them watch ESPN. Let them uh, go to a game. Whatever. That's a good thing. Yeah. He's. he's I enjoy talking to him a lot about sports, and it was it was great to see him out at a lot of our games reporting for us, and I, I enjoyed that. And again, back to the 20 years down the road thing. Where do you see yourself then? Uh, maybe work at uh, Ultimate. Of course, of course, the ultimate dream would be working for ESPN. That's, I mean, but you know, that would be that would be extremely hard. So I want to go into like maybe uh, maybe just com like talking at a college game, like doing sports radio for colleges and stuff like that. That'd be pretty cool. See, the best thing to do to those guys, I give you a good. If you want to get a good blueprint, a good game plan to go by. If you could follow this game plan to the T, you would be a successful young man. Hook up with David Jackson, Appalachian State University. Mm -hmm. He get, came out of your dad's a Northeast Gilbert man, I think. From yes, sir. David Jackson, Northeast Gilbert High School. He did the PA for the high school. He was in the high school. Did some PA work out there. Then he went on and went to Appalachian mm -hmm. City Sports. While he was still in college, he became the play-by-play -play guy for the basketball team. He's the guy called he did the play-by-play. -play. Finally got the full-time job. Did the Appalachian Michigan game that year. Oh, wow, yeah. I mean, David Jackson, man, that guy, he could probably write the book on how these young guys need to get into sports, but mm -hmm. you get those colleges, get the right people and do the right work. I mean, it, it's there. It can be happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm really looking forward to getting into that career. I so would when like you're going to, to college, are you going to have somebody in mind right now? Uh, I, I have not really. I've been accepted into Liberty, okay. and uh, that's about it for right now. I'm, I'm looking at some other schools I'm applying. So Alan York. Been to Liberty, give it Alan York. He's their radio man up there. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, watch, I watch some of their games. It okay. comes on uh, yeah. on the Watch ESPN thing, and I, I hear him every now and then. Alan York, he was a Wake Forest guy for several years. Worked for Wake Forest mm -hmm. and did uh, uh, some of the West Central baseball games, too. The West Central minor league team. Alan York done really well. I was shocked when he went to Liberty because he's been with the uh, IMG guys to mm -hmm. Wake Forest forever. Yeah. Ever. Then he went to Liberty and got the job there, and I think he's done pretty well. So that would be the man hook up with there. Going to keep hooking up with Bryce and Gordon. we got Tim Nelson next before we leave Bryson out. Who's the game changer on this team? The guy you got to go to. Get this ball in this guy's hands. This guy could change the game on a dime. Uh, I mean, you might have been that game. One of those games. I mean, talk about that uh, game you guys were down by five points 20 seconds ago. You were the main man. Who is the game changer on your team? Uh, it, it's it's close between Cameron Austin and, and uh, Noah Dunn. Both of them were so huge this year. If you I mean if you need a three if you if it's a tie game and you need a three you obviously can go to Cameron. But if you just need two points you can go to Noah Dunn. So we got so many options at that position. But uh, if, I mean if I had to put money on it I'd go to Noah. He can body through a lot of people. He's real. He uses he uses his body real good. So I'm proud of that. What about on that island stuck there on the deserted island 101? Who do you go against to get uh, out, get out of that place? I I think I, I'm very confident. Maybe if I maybe if I beat two guys at once, I can get some money when I get off that island. I think I can beat Jared and Cameron one on one. I think so, beat them two on one. So you're going to take those guys on uh, <laughs> two on one or one on two? You're going to take yeah. those guys and beat them both? Yeah, I could beat both of them. Okay. That's, that's not a hard task. Are we going to 16 to win by two typers? Yeah. Okay. I think it'll be about 16 to 11. 16 less yeah. fair. You I, can, I can guard both of them at the same time. If it was a game of knockout, how would that knockout game go with those guys? You're playing Jared and uh, they're, Cameron. They're better free throw shooters than me, so. I mean, I'm okay, but I'm not as good as they are. So, but you could still beat those guys. Two of those guys versus one of you take. Oh yeah, I think so. I'm very confident that I could. <laughs> what about real quick? Let's leave because you make a good photo, a little photo shot, a little selfie, a little uh, snapshot of your basketball life. We take a picture of that. We let people see it. What would they see in that photograph? Uh, you definitely see the state championship this past weekend. Uh, the the, the three-pointer that I made that was that was incredible. I I don't I don't know that was that was. You got that on YouTube. You go back and yeah, watch it a million times. I wish, but uh. Definitely those two, and uh, the, the season before we may have not won states, but it was a it was a fun team to be with. We were so good and talented, and uh, man, that's and winning state championship in tenth grade. But that's basketball, or that's baseball. But basketball, I mean, there's not really many, many much things to do. So that's definitely about it.
if you were going to be named MVP of the team and they gave you a car for being MVP, what car would you take? Uh, what car? Well, um, even a truck. Some guys they want to take a truck. Maybe a maybe a Porsche, something like that. Mm -hmm. Sounds sounds like something nice. What color would you select? Yellow. 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 Porsche. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody needs to see it when I'm coming down the road. <laughs> He's coming your way. Take a hush puppy with you when you All leave. Right. Thank you. Let me get you to college. You have a good one. Thank you, Bryson. Good job. Good job, of the guys from Van Dia. We got Coach Tim Nelson next, the assistant coach. The man that made it happen. Coach.